Hey everyone, so today is going to be a really quick video, or not not particularly quick, it's quite a while, um, but I am planning to upload this as soon as I finish filming, um, I need to edit it really quickly and put it up, because it is a New Year's Eve makeup for this evening. I'm so sorry that I am really late on this video, I wanted to do one about three or four days ago, but I have been in bed with this virus that is going round, um, I literally have just had migraines every day, I haven't been able to be um, out of bed and in lights and I mean these lights are sort of hurting my head <laughs> at the moment as it is. So I have filmed this New Year's Eve makeup for you and like I said I'm so sorry that it is late but I'm trying to get it uploaded for you. If it's not uploaded by New Year's Eve then you know you can wear it for any parties that are coming up if you are celebrating the new year in a different way. Um, but yeah so if I get this posted in time have a lovely New Year's Eve. Um, and if you want to see how I create this makeup look then keep watching. The next product I'm going to apply is the okay. Primer Potion. This is just the trial size that I have. Um, it lasts forever so I've never needed to buy um, another one yet. I always keep buying the, um, what are they called, the Naked palettes so I've never needed um, to buy a big one. Especially because sometimes I don't, I don't wear a lot of eyeshadow like day. So because this is a really strong look, I need to put down a dark base um, to help the colours pop and to make them really intense. So the product that I'm going in with today is the this eyeliner. It's in perversion. With this, is just creating. The shape that we want for our eye. Now this doesn't have to be neat at all, it can be really messy because we're going to blend out this colour. And then you just sort of fill in that third of the lid. Don't worry about how messy it is at the moment. The brush I'm going in with is this one just here. It's the short short shader brush by Sigma and it's the E20. I'm just blending that out with really short strokes. Blending it down the crease. This is just going to soften the product and also um, spread the product around you don't want the product to stay in one area because that area will be sort of really thick with product where the rest won't so you want to sort of make a really nice smooth base that the colours can stick and grab onto just turning my brush on the side and just gradually sort of blending it don't need to worry about that too much because we're going to go in with a blending colour. So for this look I am using the Urban Decay Smoked Palette. This is a beautiful palette. It has so ooh, <laughs> it has so many nice shades to do a smoky eye. So the shade I'm going in with first is this one here. It's called Blackout. And I'm just taking that Blackout shade on a 230 MAC brush which is just a really short shader. Not quite as short as the other one. So I'm just taking that shade and applying that all over where we've put that pencil. So put most of the colour in this corner here and then sort of drag it down. Now the colour in the palette is solid black and you can see, I don't know if you can see it, but there's some shimmer on my eyelid and that is from the next colour which is just left over on my brush make it really tense black in the outer corner. So now I'm going to go in with a blending brush. This one here is an E25 by Sigma. This is a lovely blending brush. And I'm just going to go first off around that colour. Just soften that edge ever so slightly. That's the key with dark looks. You need to blend them. You don't want them to look really harsh. 
because there's nothing really that pretty with harsh lines unless you're going for that look obviously so the next shade I'm going in with is cork which is a MAC shade it's a really nice medium warm brown and I'm taking that on that blending brush and just going round that black edge this is going to warm up the lid and make the look a lot more wearable just by adding that nice brown shade Just going all the way around the black. Next product I'm going to go in with is another MAC product. This is a pressed pigment. It is in the shade Jet Couture. This was part of a collection. Um, I can't actually remember what the collection was called, unfortunately. Um, but it is a beautiful, shimmery, grey, black shade. Um, there are a few pigments which are similar. In the um, Urban Decay... Uh, smoked palette there is one called Asph Asphalt um, which is a very similar colour I love this one because there's sort of a goldy holographic shimmer to it which looks lovely on the eyelid so I'm just going to apply that all over my eyelid and we're going all the way in this colour is also going to go on our black such a pretty shade you can apply it wet if you want that will come out even more intense um, but I quite like the intensity that it comes with at the moment it's just so pigmented and that glitter is just so pretty I don't think about putting glitter with this look but I think <laughs> that pigment is fine by itself so I'm just going to go back in with that blending brush with that cork shade on it and I'm just going to blend again just around the edge just softening that colour so the next thing I'm going to do is go back in with my perversion eyeliner and just go underneath my eyelid just along my lash line quite close to the eyelashes if it gets messy don't worry because we're now going to blend it out with that really short shader brush from Sigma just connect the colour on the outer edge you could go in with a white pencil if you want, that will really make um, a bright colour stand out. Because I want my look quite dark and quite sultry and smoky, I've gone in with the black. So the shade I'm going in with now is Evidence, which is the bright electric blue. I'm just taking that on a E15 brush by Sigma, which is a flat diviner brush. Just pressing that colour into the bristles, tapping off any excess, and then just pushing and pressing that shade into my lower lashes a nice pop of blue underneath so now what I'm going to do is do my brow highlight I'm going in with the highlight shade in this palette which is just this one here it's called Kinky I'm taking that on a Sigma E45 brush it's a small tapered blending brush and I'm just applying that to my arch and then underneath my brow so you want that nice and light I'm just going to go in that same brush but with the next shade next to it I believe it's called Freestyle and I'm just going to connect that highlight shade to the brown and just make it a little bit more blended rather than brown and then the highlight so I'm going back in with that cork shade just so we haven't taken any of that brown shade away by doing that so now I'm going to apply my mascara so I'm just going to curl my eyelashes I'm doing mascara first and then eyelashes because I don't want to line my eyelids and then apply my false eyelashes and then have to align my eyelids again to cover any band if there is any or any sort of glue that can be seen so I've just curled my eyelashes and I'm going in with Maybelline the Rocket Mascara it's the waterproof volume and it's in black I'm 
I'm just going to apply the top of my coat. So I'm just going to brush it through them eyelashes so they don't stick together. So the worst thing I think is when you put mascara on then put eyelashes on and all your natural eyelashes are all clumped together. I just don't feel like dry a little bit. So now I'm going to go in with my false eyelashes. Um, I am using the, I believe they're called Allure, I've cut it off. Yeah, I'm using the Allure eyelashes in the number 20. And they look like this. So a really sort of nice, sort of dramatic eyelash. So I'm just going to apply some eyelash glue. I've already measured these and they fit my eye nicely. So I'm just going to apply some eyelash glue. This is just the duo adhesive that you can get from MAG. Make sure that you put plenty of glue just on the edges of your eyelashes because they're the bits that are going to peel off if there's not enough. So just wait a few minutes. So we've just got to wait a few minutes until that glue gets tacky and then we can apply it to our eyelids. You don't want to blow on your eyelashes. <laughs> keep looking up there. You don't want to blow on your eyelashes because it's not hygienic. Um, you just want to wait a couple. You can wave them around the air, but I don't blow on them. Okay now, so all you do is you place your eye, oh, get it on my eyelashes, place your eyelashes in the middle and then do the edge, outer edge first, inner edge. Now we're just going to wait for that glue to dry, it will dry clear, um, you can also get duo adhesive which um, comes in a dark form so it will dry black so you know if you're worried about it messing up your eyeliner or whatever then you can get the black one I don't mind doing my eyeliner after I've applied my eyelashes so I'm quite happy with using the white so one. while that's sort of drying I'm just going to apply a second coat of mascara to my bottom eyelashes I'm going to apply another coat of mascara onto my top eyelashes this will help your eyelashes just sort of become one with the false eyelashes I guess just so they don't stand out too much dramatic which is perfect for a New Year's Eve look I think I haven't been wearing makeup for like the past seven days probably I haven't been very well since Christmas Day so this is why this video is extremely late but I've been meaning to do one because I didn't get around to doing one last year so I've been meaning to get one done so they are not completely dry but they are getting there so I'm just going to go in with the Maybelline Eye Studio Lasting Drama Eyeliner in black and I'm taking that on a 209 MAC eyeliner brush just get some of that product on my brush and we're just going to line my lashes I always find with eyelashes, when I first put them on, I can feel them, but then like these ones I can't feel anymore, they just feel like my normal eyelashes. Um, so it's just like when they sort of settle into position and stuff, so if they don't feel great when you first apply them, don't worry, because they will settle. Ten at the most, I guess. So I'm just going to do a very slight wing at the end, just to sort of... Um, neaten off that edge a little bit you can barely see it because of the dark colors but it just sort of neatens off that edge that is the eyeliner done so last but not least we need to apply just a little something special so i'm just gonna go in with i'll show you the packet if i can find it got these diamantes um i believe i got these ones either from ebay or um sort of like a sewing and craft store they are two millimeters and they're just a clear diamante with a flat back so i've just got some eyelash glue on a lid and i'm just going to pick up one of the gems dip it in the eyelash glue to get some on the back 
let the eyelash glue get a little bit tacky and then we're going to apply it to my eyelid. These tweezers are just from my uh, Benefit Browsing, I think it is. Yes. The gem. It looks a little bit tacky at the moment because the glue is still white, but that will dry clear. So as you can see on the other side, it's clear. So I believe... That is, that is the eyes complete. If you want to see what I do on the rest of my face, then keep First watching. thing I'm going to apply is some concealer under my eye. I've wiped off any um, sort of fallen um, fallout from my eyeshadows and things. So I'm just going to go in with my Instant Age Rewind um, Eraser Eye by Maybelline. Yeah. And just go underneath my eye. And back. And I'm just using my, well, it's just a naked um, palette blending brush. I don't tend to use them for eye um, shadows. I tend to use them for concealers. They are awesome for blending out concealer because they're just um, sort of nice and stiff with the artificial bristles. So as my eyes are extremely dark, I like to keep a lot of warmth in my skin. So I've already got some bronzer on that I've done with my face routine. But I'm going to go in with a sort of rosy bronze um, blush colour. The colour I'm going in is with Blush Baby. Really nice sort of burnt rose shade. And I'm going in with an angled MAC brush. The number's worn off, I'm afraid. And I'm just sort of applying that to the apples of my cheeks and backwards. my um, beauty blender that I use for my foundation today and just go around the edge of the blush just so it sort of blends it in just a little bit more and also on my under eye concealer so to set my under eye concealer I'm going in with Powder Flourish by Benefit it's a really nice finely milled powder and I'm taking that on a Tapered Highlighting F35 brush by Sigma and just applying that nice a little bit down my nose and just on my forehead. So all I need now is a nice lip colour. Um, obviously you can go dark, um, you can go nude if you want, that's obviously what my lips are at the moment. I'm going to go in with a sort of natural lip pencil. This one is a number 7 um, precision, precision lip pencil in the shade Nude. It's quite an orangey shade. But I'm just lining my lips. That is my lips all filled in and lined. So I'm just going to blend that in with my finger. I like to do that with most lip liners as long as I'm not affecting the outer line um, and just blending the in. I just think it, my lipstick sits a lot better and just looks a lot nicer. So the shade I'm going in with is Angel today which is a really beautiful pinky nude. Just applying it straight from the bullet. Otherwise I'm going to blend it with my finger. You can leave it like this, um, but I think I'm going to apply a little bit of gloss with just a little bit more um, colour to it. So I'm going to go in with my Luster Glass in Star Nova. It's a really beautiful sort of purpley, shimmery pink. And that shimmer goes beautifully with the eye. So that is the makeup complete. I'm just going to do my hair and I will show you the finish. Okay, so all I've done is I've curled my hair um, with my GHD um, straighteners. And I'm just sort of creating a pattern, I guess, <laughs> with my fingers of where I want my hair to part. Just going to go through my hair with my fingers. Just sort of add a bit of volume. I don't really want to brush these curls out very much. Normally just recently I've been brushing them so they go more like a smooth wave. But I kind of want like volume, voluminous hair shall we say today. 
So that is looking good. Um, so all I'm gonna do is hairspray that into This place. is my final look for um this evening, I guess. Um, I haven't <laughs> sorted out an outfit at the moment. Um, I really wanted to get this video up as soon as I could. Um, I mean, it's already it's already twenty past one as it is. Um, so I'm gonna quickly edit this and upload it, and it'll be ready for tonight if you want to recreate this look if you are going out um if i plan on going out i'm not feeling <laughs> particularly great um so i might just hair my face um so i might just stay at home but i don't know um if i am going out i will post an outfit on my instagram um all the details are below for my instagram and there'll also be an upcoming blog post for this look as well. I'm not going to guarantee it'll be up today um, just because I really want to edit this quickly and put it up for you guys. Um, but yeah, so check out my Instagram page to see if there's um, any outfits from this evening or just like daily pictures that I post of things beauty. Um, I show you sort of upcoming videos, sort of sneak peeks and stuff. Um, but yeah, like I said, all the links will be below. Um, and if you like this video then give it a thumbs up if you want to see more of my videos then subscribe i hope you have a wonderful and safe new year's eve and um yeah i hope you have a lovely time welcoming it in 2014 and i will see you all next year